What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, yesterday, Olympic silver medalist, three-division world champion, former unified super featherweight world champion, now reigning WBC lightweight world champion, Shakur Stevenson, 22 wins, no loss, no draw, 10 wins by way of knockout, 27 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 68 inch army, announced what is set to be his next two fights in former world champion Joe Cordina. And in, that's going to take place October 12th. And then against undefeated Mexican superstar title contender, William Zapata in February. So that's a quick turnaround. You got October, then you got November, December, January, then he's right back in the new ring three months later in February. So he was waiting around after his July 9th showdown with our team Heritanian, and he waited around, became a network promotional free agent so that he can secure a major showdown with undefeated three division champion, Superstar Bossa, who is the WBA lightweight champion and one of the faces of the sport of boxing in Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis was negotiating a fight to face off against Vasil Lomachenko for November 2nd. And Lomachenko pulled the plug on that, pulled the rug right from underneath his feet and left him at the altar. That left Javante Tank Davis over a month ago without an opponent and the natural lateral move and the no-brainer should have been Shakur Stevenson for unification. So Shakur Stevenson had his last fight with, Net with Network ESPN, legendary promoter, top-ranked CEO, Bob Arum, and top rank, and made itself flexible to agree to a fight with Javante Tank Davis that never came. It never came. They never sent him an offer, right? There's just a bunch of misleading assumptions and lies. You had Coach Calvin Ford come out who's the longtime coach, mentor, big brother, uncle, father figure to Javante Tank Davis. And he stated that these fighters are looking for 30 million. How would you know they're looking for 30 million if you never sent them a contract and begin the negotiations? In order for you to understand what he wants in return, you have to actually send him a contract that you never did. And now, that he signed to fight Joe Cordina. Yes, Joe Cordina was undefeated and was highly touted in the UK, but he suffered a shocking loss in his last fight where he was the favorite in the fight, but he sh suffered a shocking loss. Nonetheless, he got knocked out, but there's controversy surrounding it if you know what happened with Joe Cordina's situation. Now, I'm not defending Joe Cordina's situation. I'm just telling you the facts. He got hit after the bell, okay, it was a legal punch he got hit with against Anthony Cassese, and he never recovered. Then he ended up getting knocked out in the eighth round. So it was an illegal punch that should have been ruled a foul, and it wasn't, and then he never recovered in the fight that he was winning up until that point. Nonetheless, he got knocked out in the eighth round, but he never recovered from the legal punch. So... I'm not defending, I'm just telling you the facts. So now Shakur Stevenson is going to fight Joe Cordina, who's 17 wins, one loss, no draw, uh, nine wins by way of knockout, 32 years of age out of the UK. Again, if Joe Cordina would have won the fight, he would have been 18 wins, undefeated, and the former world champion. Nonetheless, he is what he is. And then he's touted to fight William Zapata in February, right? So now let's keep this in mind. Williams of Pater is an undefeated fighter who turned down Shakur Stevenson. 31 wins, no loss, no draw. 27 wins by way of knockout. 29 years of age, 5 for 9 with a 69 inch army. His Excellency, Turkey Al Sheik, was scheduling a fight for October with Williams of Pater and Shakur Stevenson. And Williams of Pater, uh, Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions, they pulled out and they stated that they wanted to push the fight back to February. That's not Shakur Stevenson's fault because in October, he's actually supposed to fight Williams of Payton as the co-main event to Dimitri Bivol or to Better BF. Period. Okay. Now, you got Javante Tank Davis coach, Coach Kenny Ellis here, 
trying to clown Shakur Stevenson, but the joke is on you because you the ones that never sent Shakur Stevenson a contract. So why does it matter to you who he's facing and trying to clown the fight saying another big fight with Joe Cordina? How about Tank would have sent him a fight and you don't have to, we don't have to have these conversations. How about Williams and Pena accepted a fight with Shakur Stevenson and we don't have this conversation? How about Lomachenko accepted the fight with Shakur Stevenson and we don't have this conversation? None of them did, including your fighter, Tate Davis, that never sent him a contract is the A-side, the big dog on the block that controls everything, that calls all the shots. And he didn't call no shots with him, but he called shots with Lomachenko? And you got the audacity to take the social media and cloud Shakur for staying active? Make this make sense. Shakur Stevenson is going to fight in October. He just fought in July. He's going to fight in October and again in February. Now do your math. That's July. So August, September, October. Three months later, he's back in the ring. Then three months from that, in October, in February, he's going to be back in the ring. Javante Tank Davis fought in June, and we never seen him again. And prior to that fight in June, he fought in April. He was out the ring for over a year. And he had Shakur Stevenson on his hit list of fighters that he wanted to fight and never sent him a contract. Send him a contract, and then you can clown him. Period. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Follow me on Instagram, Blue Blood Sports TV, or on one word, I'm gone. Peace.